It's a lousy way to start the day. For the past three Sunday mornings now, Shelby Township residents have discovered the windows of their car shot out. And now police are looking into whether the same shooter also targeted an ATM in Macomb Township. Two communities are on guard tonight. Our guy Gordon joined us now live in a subdivision hit pretty hard this weekend. Good evening, guy. Oh, good evening, Carmen and Steve. Yeah, just imagine if this was your vehicle, how angry you would be, because you know what auto glass costs. And it's not just that, it's dents in the vehicle. This is a pretty high velocity pellet gun. Yes, a pellet gun. That's all he's using right now, thank goodness. And he's only targeting cars, not people or homes. But he's still done a lot of damage. And that's why police want to see your picture, because he's causing a lot of frustration in several neighborhoods. I, yesterday was a long, frustrating day. That's a costly new rear window in this Durango. This vehicle and Tim's Chevy Equinox looked like this Sunday morning. Up to 15 shots fired, leaving shattered glass and multiple dents in both vehicles. Down the street, they hit another neighbor's Cadillac. Insurance costs are going to go up, and people don't even stop to think about you know other people's property and respect it. It's ridiculous. I, I was really upset this you know when I when I came out and saw it. I told and uh, we've had three different subdivisions that were attacked the last three weekends. We've had about 15 reports so far. Take a good look. Police say this is the man who took pot shots at this ATM with a pellet gun, the Comerica branch at 26 Mile and Romeo Plank Roads. You see him with a female companion, and he's also in a light-colored vehicle, possibly a Ford Fusion. Could this be connected to the Shelby subdivision pellet gun attacks? Yeah, it's only a couple miles down. It's definitely a person of interest, and we're, we're hoping to catch up with them and uh, move forward with our investigation. Now, take a look at the shot of this vehicle that was fleeing the bank. Notice the damage to the rear trunk lid. That should help police identify the suspect vehicle. The news is really getting around up and down the street, and I talked to one lady who said, you know what, uh, we really don't have room for both of our vehicles in our garage, but we did some rearranging because we're putting both cars in the garage tonight, and we're going to do that until they get this guy caught. So if you know the man, the woman, if that car looks familiar, if the damage on the deck lid looks familiar, by all means, call Macomb County Sheriff's Department. Uh, they're looking into the ATM incident. Shelby Township is looking into what's happening in these subdivisions. Either one would love to hear your call, and these folks would appreciate it, too. We're live from Shelby Township. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4.